going to one of the, it, the we're going to the most dangerous place in Guatemala. And the reason is there's really from where we're at only two roads to get to our destination. And one was washed out by the floods. And so if you look at Guatemala from east to west, there's one main road. We already spent a lot of time and portion on it, but we have to go through Guatemala City to get to our next spot. We're driving in the rain, and so here we go. Guatemala City. It is known as the most dangerous place in Guatemala, no question about it. In fact, it could probably be the most dangerous place in all of Central America. But you pretty much have to travel through this city to get from one side of Guatemala to the other. There's just no way around it. Also, if you're flying in and out of Guatemala, that's where the airport is. So there are zones. It's broke up into many different zones. There's like 15-ish zones. And some zones are safer than others. The big thing about Guatemala City, that we, from what we understand, is it's gangs. So even local Guatemalans will be like, don't go to Guatemala City. But I think they mean don't go spend a lot of time in the city. Don't visit it as a tourist attraction. It's not safe for that. So on our way there, we need to pick up a few things. I guess you can call them luxury items, but a better quality kitty litter, some cat food that's a little bit better for the kitties, my shampoo that I like for my hair so it doesn't mess up my keratin treatment. A few things that you can't just pick up at your local Guatemalan store. So there is a Walmart. Well, there's several Walmarts in Guatemala City, but there are two zones, zone number nine and zone number 10 in Guatemala City that are considered the safest. We found a Walmart right on the edge of zone 10. Doesn't take us too far off the main road. So not only are we driving through Guatemala City, but we're gonna go shopping there. Then it's on to our next destination. It just got very, very foggy, guys. This Kurt's having to focus. We can't see more than a couple right, of hundred feet. Driving. Yeah, on these curvy mountain roads. Very thick fog. Sure wish I was driving instead of Kurt. <laughs> just found our first four lane highway, nicely constructed road in Guatemala. But it's gotta be because we're just getting closer to the city. But it's nice to have a four lane road for a little while, isn't it? Yes. So we're starting to get closer to the city. Starting to see a lot of billboards, traffic's picking up. Uh, the roads look like they're prepared a little bit more for heavier traffic. I suspect any minute now we're gonna come around one of these mountains and look out there and see Guatemala City. Just like that. Come around the corner 
and we're in city traffic. So, the Google lady says this is a seven minute delay. We'll see if she's right. So the Google Maps was clearly wrong. She said five minutes to begin with, then seven minutes, and we've been sitting here in this traffic. We've probably gone, I don't know, 500 feet, and it's been 25-ish minutes. Now, she's popped up and said she's found a way for us to get around this traffic. So normally you would just do that. You'd just hop right on there and go. But you got to remember, guys, we're in Guatemala City, one of the most dangerous cities in all of Central America. We're not supposed to get off the main road. But something is clearly going on on this road and it's just flat out not moving. And the last thing we want to do is get stuck in Guatemala City at night. So we're trying to decide, do we take the side road? All right, I have to stop and back up a little bit and kind of tell you guys what happened. So we decided to take the side road. And as soon as we went to pull off on it, it for sure looked like a road we should not take. But we had already pulled off a little bit on the side. Traffic was right on our butt. It closed up the gap. There was really nothing to do but continue down this off ramp. So we're like, okay, no problem. We'll just get right back on but it wasn't that kind of get off ramp. We ended up pulling down into some very small little straight downhill, one way street, 10 foot wide, low power lines, low trees. I am so sorry I did not film it for you guys, but to be completely honest, and Kurt will agree with me, I was freaking out. So for the first four or five minutes of this, we were in an area of Guatemala City we for sure were not supposed to be in. Now, I just want to let you guys know, absolutely nothing happened, but I was scared enough that I thought I was going to puke. Kurt thought I was overreacting, but I couldn't help it. Sweaty palms, couldn't even think about filming. Once I gathered my composure, this is what you get to see. It had started to improve a little bit, but still an area when we don't know what zone we're in. Now, if you guys remember, Guatemala City is broke up into zones and there are good zones and bad zones and medium zones. And we don't know the zone map. So I have no idea what zone we're in right now, but I have a feeling it is somewhere we are not supposed to be. So Kurt is a little bit irritated with me because I freaked out so much. I couldn't help it, guys. I was honestly scared. But the road is getting better and better, and it looks like we're about to pull out onto a road that's a little bit bigger. And then it looks like it's not long before we're back on the main road. So I wish I would have filmed the whole thing for you guys. Maybe I can get a couple of screenshots from, from Google uh, Maps to put in here and kind of let you see where we were. I don't know. I will try. If I was able to, you'll be seeing them right now. If not, you'll just see where we're driving right now while I'm talking to you guys. But I was freaked out. Kurt handled the situation very well, uh, stayed very close to the traffic around us so we weren't in that area by ourselves. And again, we should not have gotten off the, the main road. It was completely my decision. Next time when Google Maps says she can save us a little bit of time, we're going to stay on the main road, especially if we're in Guatemala City. But it looks like now we are back on the main road where I feel much safer and I can keep showing you guys some pretty cool stuff.
So you've already seen a few of these chicken buses in some past videos, but we haven't really explained them. So chicken buses are a notorious thing here in Guatemala City. And what they are is they're actually school buses that have been retired in the United States. Guatemala buys them, brings them down here, gives them really funky, fun uh, paint jobs, puts fun stickers on them, and there's racks on top to haul stuff. And they're called chicken buses because you can literally carry anything on these. So they're like city buses that stop, but you may get on there and there may be a chicken or a pig or you know somebody with a whole box of, I don't know, metal pots. It's just how people get around here. But the drivers are known to be a little bit crazy. And we're learning that they also have a helper that kind of hangs out the side to help them to maneuver through this traffic. And we've heard that that guy will actually jump up on top and be strapping stuff down that people need to carry with them while the bus is going so we've learned we've been told don't mess with the chicken buses now I really really wish we could ride one of these just for a short distance while we were here and give y'all the effect of what it's like to ride on a chicken bus but you got to remember we're during a during a here during a pandemic so we're not getting on the chicken bus so that is one thing we are gonna miss here in Guatemala so if you guys kind of look out over this canyon, valley, ravine, whatever you want to call it, while we're up here driving on this road, you're going to see an extremely poor section of Guatemala City. And, um, you know, there's a lot of poverty here. There are a lot of people, a lot of missionaries, a lot of just good charities that come in from other countries, the United States included, and come to the city and try to help out. And, you know, I think they're doing a good job, but I just think there's so much poverty here. And it's really a hard thing to look at. But we want to share the good and the bad with you guys. So we're going to show you everything that we see while we're driving through Guatemala City. Now, if you guys want to come to Guatemala, because we hear there's some amazing stuff that we're going to be seeing over the next few weeks just outside of the city. There's an area called Antigua and an area called Lake Atitlan. And that is where we're headed over the next few weeks. But you can easily fly into Guatemala City. You don't have to be afraid of anything. You take a private shuttle or a private car from the airport just outside of town to Antigua or on a little farther to the lake. And you can enjoy all the amazing stuff that Guatemala has to offer. So don't let this city scare you. We also hear a couple of the zones are tourist worthy here. We're just not gonna try to do them in our van. But if you wanted to fly in and check out Guatemala City, just do a little research and stay in the right zones. There's supposed to be some amazing stuff to do right here in the city or definitely take a car out to Antigua or to the lake. So don't be intimidated by the parts of Guatemala City that were scaring you, it's showing you. I don't want to scare you. Guatemala is amazing. Everybody has been friendly, warm, and welcoming, and we have had nothing actually scary happen. I scared myself back on that road. So don't turn off on Guatemala. So you guys can see we have left the city. We're getting up into the mountain. We've got a short drive to our first stop of Antigua, where we have a hostel that we're going to be able to park in front of, camp there for a couple of days, just kind of get our bearings, get a plan for the next couple of weeks. So we got some exciting stuff going up and some of it is scheduled. We have dates, certain commitments where we have certain things going on. So there's some cool stuff coming up, guys. So with that, we're going to sign off. We thank y'all for taking a crazy ride through Guatemala City with us. And we will see you in a few days right here in Antigua. Thanks, guys. Cheers. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when we put out new videos. To see behind the scenes action and help support our journey, head over to our YouTube membership page. You can find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in a few days.